How's everybody doing today? And as you can see, episode 11? I think it's 11. I'm, I'm already losing count. But this is episode 11. I'm going to go with 11 for the Zero overall franchise with the Marlins. If you missed last episode, you missed a, a game where it came down to the last inning. And uh, yeah, you, ju you just got to go watch it. Top right corner. Go and watch it versus the Cardinals. It was a great game. It was a really good game. So... As per usual, guys, hit that like button if you keep enjoying the series. If you're new to the channel and you enjoy what you see, hit you know hit that red subscribe button, so you guys you know you can see every video that comes from this channel. You can always see the rebuilds that are in the rebuild playlist if you enjoy rebuilds and stuff like that. So, um, oh yeah, and always in the comment section below, let me know your favorite player. Let me know what you guys enjoy about this series, what you guys think we should change about the series, stuff like that. Give me your feedback. I love seeing what you guys think about this series. So. Like I said, last video, you know, the game went a little, a little unfortunately. Bottom nine, they get a little bloop single, and uh, we lost the game. Unfortunate, but the CPU came in the clutch, got us a 3-0 win against the Pirates. Can't complain about that. So this is the last month of the season. We definitely aren't going to come anywhere close to a playoff spot or a wild card spot or anything like that. So... Um, going into this game, I mean, we could play the we could play the Diamondbacks. They're a pretty solid team, 74 and 61. Can't you know that's not too bad. We could play the Phillies. Um, so I'm thinking Phillies are 70 and 65, 74 and 61 for the Diamondbacks. I think we're gonna play the Diamondbacks just because I think playing in at the Diamondbacks Stadium would be kind of cool. I can't I can't think of what it's called off the top of my head right now, but I think that's a good way to end the the season you know playing the diamondbacks why not you know i feel like that's we just played the cardinals the pirates the cpu beat um we played the reds the mets meh you know maybe next season we'll play the mets we've already played the braves we played the nationals so yeah let's play let's play the diamondbacks and see how the rest of the season goes maybe the cpu can squeak us out another another victory hopefully there it is they beat the cardinals the team we couldn't beat they beat them for us four to three who got the wind almond oh my god ray almanzar is an absolute stud so we can go against granky we can go against corbin or we can go against robbie ray mm, i really don't know who who we're gonna go against here kip aiden on the mound lineup looking fresh no no tired people here we're gonna we're gonna switch it up a little bit with the lineup see see how we can do there their lineup is pollock Marte, goldschmidt jake lamb david peralta steve sousa jr souza jr how it is tulo varsho and granky granky's got a 439 era on the year 10 and 12 so i mean they've got a winning record so i'm surprised that you know his record looks like this so hopefully we can you know maybe change some things out maybe get a win that'd be nice um we'll have to see how things are we'll definitely have to see how things are so let's let's do this we definitely we, we definitely need a win i mean even though the cpu got us a win earlier in the month we we need to get a win i need to get a win that's basically what it comes down to i'm tired of losing and I got under that. Oh, that was a good pitch. That was a really good pitch. And that's just going to be a fly out to center. One pitch out, too. Not a good start to the inning. Got to be a little bit more disciplined. Kevin Page is up now. He's second on the team with 21 doubles. Okay, not bad. And uh, I just said I need to be more disciplined. And I go after the first pitch. You know, I think Victor Victor and Page had two good pitches to hit. I just didn't center up the PCI. So we're going to go down one, two, three on three pitches. That's not good. That's that's not a good start. Hit your spots. Change up. That was a good pitch. Somehow he fouled it off. Come on. Six pitches into the at-bat. And he's going to foul off another one. Man. It's kind of similar to Bartholomew. We can't afford to have long at-bats, long innings. We need to get the outs. Is that fair? Is that foul? What's going on here? It was a foul ball. Okay. So now pitch number nine of the at-bat. And uh, 
Yancey Esmond is there. We get the first out. A little bit of a long at bat, though. Definitely can do without those later in this game. Come on. Paul Goldschmidt. There. Stuart Merrill, you can't. No, you can't do that to me. That was a routine ground ball. How are you going to let that? How, how are you going to let that do? Oh, my gosh. Uh, Jake Lamb standing in now. One ball, no strikes to count. Lamb swings and it's hit very well out to right. <sighs> like that was a that wasn't even where I wanted the change up, and I got taken deep. It's two to nothing now, and we're just ah uh, gross. All right, okay. Comes back with a nice little fastball, but <sighs> this is a completely different situation if Stuart Merrill gets that ground ball. A ground ball that was hit right to him, and this should have been no problem. We get the third out, though. Pepito makes the play, but we're down 2 nothing. One, his changeup was just horribly placed, not even where I wanted it. And it ends up in an absolute bomb to right field by Jake Lamb. So we're down 2 0. Alright, he's sitting 0 2. That's going to be ground out to Jake Lamb. We're going to go down 1 2 3 once again here in the second. And it's just. I don't think this is going to be a good one. It's not, it's not looking great. <sighs> Let's get this out. Let's not get the first runner on. Ground ball to Rain Rodney. He makes the play. Throws it over to first. And get the first out. Nice little change up. There we go. That's that's where I want those change ups. I don't want them right down the middle. I don't I don't understand why that's frustrating me so much. Get up. Get up. He's got 18 speed. He should not beat this out. What? Are you serious? Yeah, challenge that because he was out. Make the challenge. Come on blue you're blind i don't know what you're looking at this that was an out that was definitely an out sean robles making the play at third come on let's let's see this he might he might actually be safe he might be safe mm. i need to see that one more time are we gonna get the out what's going on did we get the out we got the out. Hey, Sean Robles making the play at third. That's what I'm talking about. Yancey Esmond, can you make the play in left? There we go. One, two, three inning for the squad. No damage done this time. Can't complain about that. Pepito Americo's up. He's a player that I might end up replacing in the offseason. Just hasn't really been clicking. Ah. <sighs> That's looking like it's going to be a little slap hit to right. Rain Rodney, I think it said on the scoreboard, he was third on the team in hits. So, I mean, I can't complain about those stats. He's going to add to the hit column right there. So now we got the pitcher up, Kip Aiden. Kind of want to bunt it. But you know what? Why bunt it when you can get a double with your pitcher? I'm not gonna send him. To, I'm not gonna send him home. Who I probably could have. I definitely could have. Mm. Okay, that's okay. Kip Aiden, the pitcher, delivering with a double with one out. Top of the lineup is up. Victor Victor is up. Come on. He delivered with a solid hit last game. Got a two-run double. Can he do it again? All right, here we go. One out, top of the third. This is Victor's moment. This is what he lives for. 1-1 one, one count. There it is. To center field. Probably, oh, it's, it's thrown off the mark. We're going to get a two-run single. Victor Victor Mesa has been on fire these last couple games we've played. Two run single there, delivers, the throw was off the mark, gets that run home for sure. And hey, Victor Victor is looking like he's going to be a superstar for us, delivering when we need it the most. 
Still only one out. I kind of want to steal. We haven't done a steal in a while. And you know what? I'm glad I didn't because now we got first and second. Uh, maybe a hit and run would have been good right there. So maybe, maybe I should have done the hit and run. It would have been first and third with one out rather than first and second but you know what Stuart Merrill is keeping this hit train going and I like it still only one out we got the rookie Kevin Page up now Ooh, I'm liking what I'm seeing one one count that's gonna get one run home for sure Stuart Merrill's gonna go to third and Kevin Page gives us the lead in the top of the third I was completely rattled when we went down two runs and now look at us. We're on top here. Kevin Page takes another outside pitch to the right side. He does that so well. I don't know why. It just works out every single time. Hits it past the first baseman. We got first and third. Still only one out. Sean Robles is up now. Come on. Double play to end the inning, but you know what? I'm not going to complain about it. Three runs on the board gives us a one-run lead, and I'm going to take it. That was a great inning. The thing is, he's got two ch uh, two curveballs, which I don't I don't like. Like I can't stand that. I think this is going to be a base hit unless Maverick Moss pulls something out. Ooh, showing off the range, showing off the arm. Maverick Moss, there we go. 1-0 count, curveball. He's going to hit it right up the middle. 79 speed is going to be on first. Goldschmidt is going to be up. No. Yeah, Goldschmidt's going to be up. We all know what happened last time he was up. He rips one straight at Stuart Merrill, and Stuart Merrill doesn't make the play. And that's 100% getting the run in. There is no way we're, we're not keeping that from happening. And Paul Goldschmidt ties the game up at three. Fastball, just too much of the plate. Way too much of the plate. Let's see where it was. I mean, it wasn't a horrible pitch, but definitely caught too much of the plate. That is, not, See, like, that's not where I wanted the changeup. That was nowhere near where I wanted the changeup. Make the play. Okay. You know what? It's a tie ball game, but hey. At least they didn't take the lead there. <sighs> Man, we, we need to learn how to hold the lead. I guess I need to learn how to hold the lead. But Yancey Esmond's up, grounded out last time. Can we keep the, the same as last inning? It's not going to look like it. Zero speed's definitely not beating anything out. Little dribbler out in front of home plate. That's, that's not getting a hit. Here comes the first pitch. And it's going to be a ground out to the second base. A quick inning for us. And, um, I mean, three pitches that were pretty good pitches to hit. Just couldn't do anything with it. Alrighty, 2-2 two, two count here to David Peralta. And the curveball gets some swing in. One up, one down. I like it a lot. Took that deep. Jeez, 1-2 count, one out. Curveball down in the zone. Maverick Moss. Make the play, please. Throw it over to first. There we go. Two, there we go. That's two outs right there. I like it. Troy Tulowitzki got robbed of a hit by Sean Robles. He made a beautiful defensive play at third. Let's see if we can uh, make a, you know, a more simple play. Just get the out, you know. But uh, an out is an out. So I guess I guess I can't complain about it. So one one count here. Two outs. Kip Aiden's stamina is pretty low, so I'm trying to make sure I hit my spots, get the right releases, avoid any sort of hits, and just, just missed the corner there. All right, come on. One more strike. That's all we need. Nice little change up. Maverick Moss, can you make the play? 18 speed should be no problem. One, two, three inning. Kip Aiden goes four innings. Can't complain about that at all. Is that gonna not? Ah, it's not gonna drop. All right, so, uh, so, uh, so that was a bad pitch to swing at. Just gotta hit our spots. And can he make the play? Oh, just missed the dive. All right, 0-2, two outs. Who gets him on the splitter? One, two, three inning for Darvi Jarvis. 
That's what I'm talking about. Drop your elbow into it. Take the pitch. Take the pitch. Take the hit. All righty. Come on. 1-0 count here. Base hit would be nice. And you know what? That might be more than a base hit. It's going to roll all the way to the wall. 68 speed here. Pollock does have a bit of an arm. We're going to keep it to a double. Be smart about it, but not try to stretch it out, get thrown out at third. So a leadoff double for Stuart Merrill, his 18th on the season. And he's hitting the ball pretty well. The rookie's really showing that he might be our first baseman for the future. This rolls all the way to the wall. Nice little gap shot. Kevin Page is up. Last time he slapped it down the first baseline. See if he can deliver again. I don't think that's going to drop. Is it? It's not. One out. I, I don't. I shouldn't have swung at that. I should be more smart with our opportunities. You know, we're in a good spot. What am I getting anxious for? Just missed on the curve. Was just. That was a good pitch. 0 2 now. Are we really going to squander this opportunity after the leadoff double? At least we're going to get him to third, but Robles again grounds out to the second baseman, Marte. And now I think it's Yancey Esmond up. Yeah, it's Yancey. Yancey does deliver sometimes in the clutch, though. You know, he's got that, that signature slap up the middle. Can he do it now? Is it going to get through? Tulo does have some abil defensive ability, so. Man. Lead off double by Stuart Merrill, and we just can't get the run across. Rain Rodney showing off the range. I honestly didn't think he was going to get that. That was, uh, that was a ball that just kind of looked like it was going to somehow find its way into the outfield. Paul Goldschmidt here. Very scary bat. Two straight balls. I got to be careful. I can't give him anything to hit. Three straight balls. Jake Lamb is up next. So, I mean, I would rather have the lefty-lefty matchup. We are going to walk Goldschmidt. Well, he's just kind of pitching around him. I would rather have the lefty-lefty matchup with Jake Lamb. We just, I actually need to throw a strike. That's that's the big thing now. Ooh, a hit and run. He's going to be safe. Oh, I didn't even... <sighs> Double play is out of... It's just not a, not a possibility anymore. We still have one out. Come on, strike out, Jake Lamb. I don't need you up here doing all this stuff. I need you to get out. Curveball. That's the lead. I'm not even going to try it. We're just going to let them take the lead in the sixth. Ah. Alright, throw it to first. Get get the out. Man, they're really, they're really in love with this hit and run, huh? So two outs now. Steven Souza Jr. is up. All right, 2-1 count. Is this really going to be another run? It is. These little dinky hits up the middle are killing me right now. So two little dribblers up the middle are going to cost me a, a tie game to a two-run deficit now. Two lows up. That's a ball, apparently. Come on. All right, just throw it to first. Get us out of the inning. And we go down two runs. Man, those those grounders hurt, you know, because they're just so, like, poorly hit. You know, they're just, there's nothing you can do about it. They're just somehow going to make it up the middle. Now we're down two runs. So Maverick Moss, can you start us off right here? You know that old slogan, a That's not going to drop. They could certainly use that right now. Marte. <sighs> All right, Rain Rodney, there's two outs. Can you deliver us a hit? Nope, it's going to go straight to Marte. One, two, three inning for us. This two-run deficit sucks. And it, it, was, it sucks because, like, at the beginning of the game, I was like, man, we're down two runs. This game, you know, already out of hand. We came back, and we took the lead. So I'm not going to get too down on ourselves. But, you know, our, our opportunities to score are limited. Alrighty, there we go. Robles makes the play at third, and we get the first out of the inning. Not, not where I wanted it at all. 
All right, get off. Get up. Get up. There we go, Paige. Makes the play. Two up, two down. Back to the top of the lineup. AJ Pollock's going to be up. Just got to get this out. And we head into the eighth. Pff, what? Oh, man. I spoke too soon, and now we're down to three. How is he hitting that deep? Let me... I got to see the placement on... The, I mean, I guess, but really? Three-run ball game. A.J. Pollock taking it deep. And another hit. Oh, man, this is getting out of hand. Now the, now the umps are calling strikes? Come on. This might be a run here. This is most definitely a run. This is going to be a four-run ball game. And the it's it's all just just falling apart. This is worse than ever. What what is what is the ump seeing? Cuz that that's a strike. And Victor Victor please make this play. He does. So Oh man, 1-1 one, one count. And that is a single with one out. Victor Victor Mesa just continues to see the ball well and he's getting these hits. You know, he's really he's really showing he's going to be our star of the team. He's doing what he does best, is base hits, base hits. So, Stuart Merrill hit a double last time. Can he deliver for us again? 3-0 count, hands off the controller. Not taking any chances. I would rather have first and second with one out than swing at a garbage pitch and hit into a double play. So, come on. Give me give me ball four here, Granky. I would absolutely love it. All right, good thing I didn't have my hands on the control. I probably would have swung at that. And because it's a change up, I would have been on top of it. And it would have been a ground, you know, grounded into a double play for sure. So, 3-1 count. <sighs> Flies out to center. Mm. Should be a base hit. It is. There we go. It drops right in front of the center field. Center fielder. Right in front of the center field. Right in front of the center fielder. Kevin Page. He's even seeing the ball well. And, hey, I'm liking it. First and second. There are two outs. They're bringing in Andrew Chafin. Chafin? Chafin. I don't know. Whatever. Sean Robles is up. I've yet to get anything good out of him when I'm hitting the ball. So, is this the one? It is. We're going to get first, and we're going to go back to second. Not taking any chances there. Tulo's got a bit of an arm. We're going to make it a three-run ball game. Sean Robles delivers and brings it within three. Okay. Whew. That's a nice hit. Like I was saying, we find, we don't we don't get much with him. We always hit, like, double plays, ground outs pop-ups just haven't been able to deliver and finally the rookie delivers for us Yancey Esmond is up now but just out of the reach of Jake Lamb you know what I can't send him I can't I can't do it I can't do it Yancey Esmond gets a slap base hit oppo but just I can't send Kevin Page. He probably would have been hosed. The infield was kind of in. Or not the infield. The outfield was sitting in. Which sucks. I would have rather had a two-run ball game rather than a three-run ball game. But bases loaded. Two outs for Maverick Moss. Just laid on that sinker. Ooh. Just laid on the sinker. 0-1 count now. Come on, Maverick Moss. Deliver for us. We need this. Fouls it off. All right. 0-2. All right. Come on. He hit us. We get a run in. Oh, there we go. He hit us with the bases loaded. And we get a run in. I, I didn't mean to swing. It was one of those we kind of just accidentally tap it, and it worked out for us. We actually, we actually got hit, and we make it a two-run ball game. Pepito, please, you haven't gotten a hit in so long. 
Please tell me that's dropping. Please, please, please. No. 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 Oh, man. Got him going after a ball. I can't, I'm not going to complain about that at all. And then change up down in the zone. Get some swing in. There we go. Strike out. And that 18 speed. It's... Oh, my gosh. What are you doing, Yancey? Double for too low. Ah, man. Somehow just squeezed it down the third baseline. Ah. What is this? The catcher. All right, there we go. Yancey's there to hopefully make the play. I mean, he should make the play. He's camped out under it. Two outs now. It's going to be the pitcher spot. I'm not too sure if they'll pinch it. I mean, I would assume they would. Yeah, they're going to. They're bringing in Alex Avila. Okay. Hits it right at Rain Rodney, and we get the out. So the double doesn't even matter. Heading into the bottom, or no, the top of the ninth. We got three outs left. They bring in Archie Bradley. 42 saves on the year. Yeah, Rain Rodney. And Rain Rodney hits it to first. Does he have the speed to beat it out? He doesn't. I think the pitcher spot's next. Chris Montague hasn't featured a lot this season, so let's see if he can deliver for us today. Is that going to drift foul? It is just, just foul. So 0-1 count. Let's see if Chris Montague can do it. He's got the power stride, so... That's gonna that's gonna be a fly out to left. So we're down to our last hitter. It's gonna be Victor Victor Mesa with two outs here. He's gotten a couple hits on the day, two singles. So if anybody's gonna keep it alive, I would definitely bet it'd be him. Two one count. Victor Victor deliver for us, please. He he has the speed. 86. Can he beat it out? Doesn't and that's the ball game. Uh, again, another loss coming from me playing the games. You know, I, I just can't win. I don't get it. I just, I got dabbed on by the Diamondbacks. Wow. So, two ribbies for Victor. Victor, I mean, last couple episodes, he's really got the bat going. Kevin Page has gotten the bat going. Stuart Merrill definitely has. I just got to be able to figure out how to get Robles some hits. I feel like every time we come up to bat with him, it's just an absolute rally killer. It just ends anything that we had. I mean, we had what? First and second with two out or one out and or bases loaded with one out and he hits into a double play. Um, I know we had bases loaded with two outs at another time and we couldn't score. So I feel like if we can get Robles to start hitting the ball or if I can figure out how to get hits with him, we will be in a lot better position in games uh i mean goldschmidt went three for three jake lamb went two for three i mean we got to limit those and obviously that'll help once we start adding better pitching to the squad so i think that's a big thing it's like i missed my spot once and i'm gonna get punished for it and that's expected we're playing better opponents than us and we just definitely need to strengthen the pitching once we do that i think we'll definitely limit run opportunities bad pitches and that'll help us out a lot so there's that game. Let's see how the rest of the season plays out. I'll catch you guys in a second. So we only have two more games in the season. So let's let's just sim them out, see how it goes. Weren't able to get another one, but 7 and 155 on the year. Definitely a huge improvement to last season. So let's check out the standings. The Nationals won our division. They won 104 games. That's huge. Um, Cardinals won the Central um, the West was won by the Dodgers, and the wild card was the Rockies and the Diamondbacks. In the East, American League East, the Yankees won, the Indians won the Central, the West was won by the A's, and the wild card was the Rays and the Red Sox. So looking at, you know, the playoff bracket, this is how the this is how it's looking like. It's it's a couple new teams that we normally don't see, uh, like Tampa Bay. You normally don't see them in my rebuilds. The season as a whole, I mean, definitely a huge improvement. I mean, look at Victor Victor's numbers. He has seven more homers, 26 more ribbies, almost, uh, uh, well, actually over 10 more steals, 11 more stolen bases, 
a 50 increase on his average, a huge increase on his slugging, a huge increase on his um, on base percentage. Victor Victor Mesa is really turning out to be a great player for us. Pepito Americo, we're not going to have his stats from previous years, unfortunately, but he's just not cutting it. Um, I mean, he didn't have a bad year. 23 ribbies, two homers. I mean, it's not bad, but I think in the offseason, we're going to be looking to acquire a new outfielder. It's just time. Um, Kevin Page has gone up. I'm liking him. 232 on the year, three homers, 19 ribbies. Um, I just I just like him. I think he's going to be a great uh, catcher for us. I think he's going to be a really good player. Um, and I just, you know, catcher, I think we're set. DH slash third base. If we can figure out how to hit with Sean Robles, we will have an amazing player right here. Not the best of fielders. He does have some arm. He's got the power numbers though. And we need to figure out how to get hits with him because he's he's our best power hitter. Um, Rain Rodney and Maverick Moss, they're fighting it out for who's going to keep that second base position. 103 hits for Rain Rodney, 111 for Maverick Moss. So, you know, it's, it's a toss up. I think Maverick Moss is just a little bit more of a fan favorite than Rain Rodney. You know, Maverick Moss has just got that swag about him. Stuart Merrill, even though he's got C potential, I think he's going to be a, a decent little player for us. Um, he, he's got some speed. He actually can hit the ball pretty well. You know, he, he showed in those last couple episode episodes, he can definitely hit the ball. So I think, you know, he's a decent option for us at first. And then kind of like the issue with Pepito. Yancy Esmond's just not cutting it anymore. Yes, he delivers here and there with his, you know, signature center field single. But um, it's just, I think it's time to move on. Danilo Prince, kind of the same thing. He might just be a bench bat for us moving forward. Chris Montague, as much as I love his like giant stride he has when he swings the bat, I think it's time to move on from him. Clyde Niles, kind of the same thing. It might be time to move on. And Captain Thick, I think he's more of just like a, a cult hero. We got to keep him on, even though he's not that good. Pitching wise, we can't get rid of Truman. We got to get Truman his first win somehow. I don't know how we're going to do it, but we got to do it. We need to keep Ray Almanzar as long as we can he may not have the best potential but he was our best pitcher by far and we got to keep him poncio alvarez eh carlos kike eh and then kip aiden eh he did you know a double in the last game so batting wise maybe keep him around but pitching wise definitely not that great darby jarvis i feel like you know not a bad season i mean for our, our standards not a bad season christopher robles B potential, I think he's going to be a good pitcher for us. He's almost 70. Adam Malachi, eh. Gonsalves is actually not horrible, but I feel like we could do with someone better. Freddie Hippolito, again, not horrible. Probably could do with someone better. Dario Leonard, same thing. We could do better. Troy Lee, potential's gone down, unfortunately, um, but I think he's still going to help us out. Richard Humphreys, his potential's gone up, and, you know, he's. I think he's going to be a good pitcher for us. Um, I just, we, we need to make some signings, and I think corner outfields are a big concern, and then pitching are a big concern. So, guys, we're not going to be able to acquire big name players. Like I said, I think we capped it out for a 70 overall for the first season. This season, we're going to, I'm going to allow us to get an 80 overall or better. So, let's see how this season finishes. Um... We're going to sim to the off season, or I'll just do it this way. We'll see how this season ends. The Dodgers defeated the Indians in the 2019 World Series. So, oh wow, they swept them too. Yikes. All righty. Um, so, sim to the off season. We'll see how everything is. Our farm director is gone. Okay, whatever. And then, as you guys know, everything happens like this. Not a lot of players actually retired this season which is good you know we lost two pitchers a closer or we lost four pitchers and five pitchers in total and a and a yeah that's it just five pitchers that's actually not bad the rest stayed and to be honest that's actually not a bad thing for us because we brought in some relievers we brought in a starting pitcher from the draft so some of them are already going to get um replaced anyways and then we can always sign someone. So to be honest, guys, 
those might be the guys that we just leave. But if one of you guys think we should keep Kip Aiden, Ponce Alvarez, Adalberto Gonzalez, Freddie Hippolito, Carlos Kike, let me know in the comment section below. Um, I'm definitely cool with like kind of keeping them around. Um, and then we can always, you know, figure it out from there. So let's go into it. So the lineup now, everybody sticks stuck around, which is awesome. I'm super happy about that. But now we need three starters and we do have some um, youngsters coming in from the draft. Unfortunately, I can't see our picks. Um, but yeah, the guys, that is going to end season two of the zero overall franchise. Heading into season three, we're definitely going to make some additions. We're definitely going to make some additions. I'm feeling super excited about it. Um, um, so we might just have to make some trades. I'm thinking that's the best route. I don't want to just go out and sign the best player. And that's why I'm capping it at 80 for this season. I definitely think we'll be able to hit a new season where we can get better players after that. So that's that's really it, guys. I mean, there are a couple decent options, but there aren't really too many crazy good options in free agency that we can go after based on the fact that I don't want to go after anybody higher than an 80. I feel like that's just too much um, too soon. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button down below again. We're definitely going to make some really good um, trades or signings um, in the offseason. So if you guys want to see the offseason video, how we, tr you know, changed everybody up, make sure you hit that like button, support the video, comment down below. Um, if you guys think we should trade for a player that's under 80 that you think is going to be a really good addition to the squad, leave the player down below. I'm definitely open to making some trades and making this team better. Um, I'm looking for corner outfielders. Um, and some pitching for sure. Those are the big spots, corner outfielders and pitching. So um, once again, guys, hit that like button, subscribe if you were new and enjoyed the content. And I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.